Good morning. <laughs> Michael here. And today's devotion <laughs> reminds me of back in high school, we used to do a thing called Bible knowledge. Yep. We grew up even in school on the Bible. And though we hadn't found salvation, most of us at that time, at least we were grounded in Bible knowledge. And yesterday I heard of a little documentary in regards to Steve Jobs on his deathbed and realized that his wealth really couldn't suffice and um, suggested he had lived his life not conscious of a lot of better things to do or incorporate. But funny enough, he never even mentioned God in <laughs> the documentary. But here is a story of another rich man who uh, <laughs> realized that something was missing from his life. And so, let's look at Luke chapter 19, just the first 10 verses. And Jesus entered and passed through Jericho. And behold, there was a man named Zacchaeus, which was the chief among the publicans. And he was rich. And he sought to see Jesus, who he was, and could not for the press, because he was little of stature. And he ran before and climbed up into a sycamore tree to see him, for he was to pass that way. And when Jesus came to the place, he looked up and saw him and said unto him, Zacchaeus, make haste and come down, for the day I must abide at thy house. And he made haste and came down and received him joyfully. And when they saw it, they all murmured, saying, that he was gone to be guest with a man that is a sinner. And Zacchaeus stood and said unto the Lord, Behold, Lord, the half of my goods I give to the poor, and if I have taken anything from any man by false accusation, I restore him fourfold. And Jesus said unto him, This day is salvation come to this house, for as much as he also is a son of Abraham, for the Son of Man is come to seek and to save that which was lost. Wowza! <laughs> I bet that was a happy man that day. <laughs> I wonder if his feet touched the ground. <laughs> He's not who you'd really call big guy. <laughs> Oh, Zacchaeus, he was loaded though. He had money. But uh, true values in life really blossom when you seek the Master and understand his love and his ways. <laughs> well, <laughs> clearly I'm enjoying myself. Hope you enjoy the reading of <laughs> familiar scripture. <laughs> I wonder how familiar it is. Until next time, it's Michael here, declaring Jesus is Lord. You all have a blessed day.